So, Upstate 7.1 brought us a new map, Yukon Bird. How do you play it and is it any good? Well, let's have a look. Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fuji's Blitz. Now before we get into this, don't forget, if you can, subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. It's a lovely thing to do, it costs you less than a second of your time and puts a big smile on my face. And don't forget to comment, like and share and get those video replays over to me. So we're going to have a look at the Yukon map in a bit more detail. So I'm going to go through the map and all its nooks and crannies. And then I'm going to show you a couple of games that I've played on it in tier 10. I'll be honest, I like this map. And I find that this area, when you spawn on the north spawn, this area to the right of the spawn is probably the area you should be going. It's got some fantastic places if you've got a nice haul down tank with decent gun depression. Not only that, it's got some really good ridges that you can push into. The other thing I found that if you spawn on the north side, especially in Supremacy, it's actually quite difficult to cap anything other than the B cap. I mean, the D cap, which is just here by this waterfall, is actually wide open. And regardless of which spawn you're in, it's pretty easy to contest. When you spawn on the south side, the C spawn is pretty easy to get into and the A spawn does favour you. So the map is slightly imbalanced in that way. Nevertheless, this area here, this is where I found a majority of the battles taking place. It seems that no matter where you spawn, a lot of heavies like to push into here. And you've got some really good peak and boom areas like this rock here. If you can get to this position, you up from the north spawn, you've got some good shots into the cap area and you've got a lot of cover from that big rock. Coming from the south spawn, you can push around here, and you, again, you've got great cover. You've got buildings, you've got hull down, you've got rocks. It's actually not a bad area to have a good brawl in. But you do need to be careful, because anybody getting onto those ridges by that waterfall do have shots across into you over on this side of the map. Moving now over to the south spawn side, it's an interesting spawn, as I said, especially in Supremacy. You can see that we're just going past the sea cap, which is pretty easy to cap from this spawn. I mean, there's no issues with that, just like the B cap is on the north spawn. But the A spawn on this side is certainly more protected than it is from the other side. So you've got, again, all these ups and downs, good haul down position, good rocks, buildings to hide behind, good shots across into the heavy area. And this is meant to be the heavy route. If you can get yourself up into this position, especially in a low slung or, or well armored TD, these rocks, these logs here, you can't destroy them. They're fixed. And you can get yourself in a really good position in, say, a Jaegeru or a Fosh poking over the top. Look at that, you're just going to see the top of the turret. You've got good shots down that heavy route, which is going to be pretty difficult for the heavies to dislodge you. Coming from the north spawn in a heavy, you've got these piles of logs here. Again, they're not destructible, and you can side scrape off them, but do so at your peril. It does not favor you pushing into this area if you're coming from the north side. It does prefer it if you come from the south spawn. It's just the way it works. Now, if we have a look at that A cap, sorry, yeah, the A cap. If I get round to the A cap, okay, you can contest it here from that spawn. But look at this. If I drop down into the A cap, there's this little hidey hole that will give you a lot of protection. So this is the hidey hole here. You can side scrape off this, which prevents the heavies from hitting you, and you've got good view haul down from the flank. So it is actually quite an imbalanced map cap wise. This area here, well, this is pretty much like what you get on say Falls Creek in that type of area. I'm not expecting many brawls around there. Um, to be honest with you, it's pretty, there are places to side scrape and, and sort of get protection from, 
but it's pretty wide open. Same with this area here. Okay, you've got a hall down from the one side, but it's wide open from the other. Pushing in, however, to this area, again, you can see the undulations in the map do favor hall down tanks. You've got good positioning. You've got some good places that you can get to and get some cover into. Like I said, from the North Swan, this cap is pretty impossible to reset unless it's pushed upon. It's got a good haul down positioning, it's got good cover, and but the thing is, look, you can't reset any of the other caps. You can't reset A and you can't reset B. But C cap from the North Spawn is pretty easy to cap. Looking at the TD spots from the North Spawn, well, this is realistically the only one I found that will potentially overlook that heavy route. And let's be honest, it's not as good as the other side. So this side from the North Spawn is going to be pretty tricky if you're trying to contest it. From the South Spawn, a lot easier. And that's probably one of the only imbalances that I can see in this map. So if you're going from the North Spawn, it seems that the ideal route for you is to go down the right flank and probably just right of the middle. If you're on the north spawn, if you're on the south spawn, it seems that any flank apart from the middle is going to be good for you. That's just the way the map seems to be working out. Like as I said, I mean, in supremacy, capping that A cap from the south spawn is a lot easier than trying to cap it and the D cap from the north spawn. Like I said, I think this map is fantastic. I think it's it's a big map. It's got some great positions and it's got some real potential. And I'd love to see this map in the big tournaments because I think this map in, as a tournament map will be fantastic. I think there's gonna be a lot of action. It's gonna be pretty similar to say, a, like a canal type map. I mean, it's, it's bigger like Faust without the two levels. There's only one level to the map. So that's what the map looks like, but what's it actually like to play? Well, this is me rolling out in the T62A the other day on this map. And as you can see, we've gone down this right flank from that north spawn. And look at this. I mean, the Progetto just hasn't got a hope and hours chance in crossing without getting smacked. Unfortunately, a, uh, a grill gets in the way there, so I could have smacked him again. And the grill missed. As you can see, the TD positions for the other side also equally not that good. Although my good friend Andresik there of the Clan of Ware has managed to get himself into a pretty decent position. But this map, this side, does favor spawning on the north spawn rather than the south spawn. It's a lot harder. So as you can see, I mean, we've managed to dominate this position so far. You can see that on the left-hand side, they are trying to push through that middle ground. Um, that grill is in a world of pain and we managed to take him out. The Progetto manages to get a shot in, but he's got to expose himself because of his gun depression and we're just going to pummel him. This is what I like about this map. Um, as I said, if you're spawning from the North Spawn, I would say this is the better positioning and the better way to go. Down on this right flank, you've got shots across that middle area, as you'll see in a moment, as I get onto the 183, driven by my good friend Tank Dude at the Clan UN. As you can see, we're having no problems penning him from here. We're getting good shots onto him. This is why I like this map. I mean. You can dominate the map from this side, especially if those on the south spawn come this way. If, however, they would have gone the heavy route, things would have been slightly different. As you can see with the undulations, I am now able to push quite nicely without too much fear of being slapped around this waterfall area to get shot into the Sheridan that is above me, driven by another one of my friends um every good re-roll and we managed to take him out now i've got andresic there in the grill unfortunately the t628 doesn't have that great gun depression but we're going to get up here and see if we can get shots in he manages to back down but he is all alone and in a world of pain let's be honest so i'm able to push over the top he's not focused on me we're going to slap him low roll on the he but we're going to ram him to death and hit him with another he round just to make sure and there we go. That's why I like this map from that spawn. Unfortunately, I haven't spawned that often from the south spawn, but that's the north spawn. Now we're gonna roll out 
in the IS-4 from the same spawn. And you can see, instead of going down the flank, we're now going down the middle area. Still, however, on the right-hand side, because now we're a heavy. And I'll be honest with you, I don't exactly play this game particularly well. There's the Progetto. Now, that's where the D-cap would be. He is in a world of pain. He's not going to be able to get out of there or cap that without getting slapped. And as you can see, we've been able to inflict a lot of damage without really losing much ourselves. Okay, the IS-7 there gets a good shot in, but we now know where they are. We're able to push around to this corner, and don't forget, like I said, these corners are quite nice. Um, I'm able to, okay, I get one from the um, East 100 there, but I'm a super heavy in an IS-4 that so can be taken. I get a nice shot into the IS-7. And now we're going to be in a bit of a brawl. They are really contained there. They can't push. They really can't do too much. If they now push out, they're going to be exposed. And they're just going to be smacked around. And this is the thing about this map. If they would have gone the other way, it would have been a lot harder for us to take them. But there embolies the problem. Because if we're going this route and they all go the other way, then you know the chances are we're just going to come upon each other's rears so it's going to be a difficult map to anticipate strategy wise at this moment but i can foresee that over time mediums and lights from the south spawn are going to go down this route to spot with the heavies going down towards the other towards that um, a cap whereas the, the, the if you're spawning on the north spawn you're going to be going down this route easily it's going to be interesting. I mean, as you can see, anybody coming down this route is, is in a world of pain. And we've just been able to decimate them completely. They're not bad players. This is not because they play badly. This is purely because the map positioning doesn't favour them from that side. It really doesn't. So be careful of that. Be careful of when you're spawning and where you're spawning. I mean, look at this. I mean, get shots into the E50M with ease. So... That's a Yukon map, everybody. It's a map that I really like. I, th I think it's an enjoyable map. I think it's a great map. And, you know, that's just been my take on it, just to give you a quick overview. Admittedly, I only spawn from one side, so it's a little bit different, but I like it. Anyway, I've been Fujit, and that's been my video on the new map, Yukon. By all means, comment and everything below. I'd like to say a big thank you to all of the subscribers, because without you guys, there would be no point in me doing these videos. And I'd like to thank all my Patreons, because without you, it would be a lot harder to do these videos. And I'd also like to thank the fellow YouTuber, HyperSpider7. Please go out and check his channel for being my one and only YouTube member. Thanks a lot for that. It's fantastic. Until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, guys, because I think that's what it's all about, having fun and being happy.